What if I told you that after four years of hosting on Airbnb, there are at least seven untold truths that hosts have been hiding from you? Stick around to the end because not only will I tell you what these secrets are, but I'm also going to be telling you how one of these tips might be the make or break of your Airbnb business. Secret number one. A lot of times when people travel, one of the biggest complaints is that the check-in instructions are so confusing, finding the property is hard. It's just always something, right? Well, there is actually this little known secret that can only be found on the mobile app and that is called check-in instructions now you might be thinking oh yeah Kara, i write it out in paragraphs and i put it in my messaging no 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 this is something else when you go into the app you go to your listings then you go to booking settings you scroll all the way down to check-in instructions and airbnb actually allows you to put together this super sleek check-in direction like guide or manual whatever you want to call it it's amazing the way it works is when your guest arrives to your property on the day of and it's their time of check-in when they open the app this specific guide will pop up and they'll be able to start check-in and it's the nicest most sleekest coolest thing ever that I've ever seen here's an example of how my husband and I do ours on the first slide we always say welcome it's time to check in go ahead and click through so we can show you how to check in on the second one we show them the street that they should be on once I show them the street then I show them how to actually get to the actual unit I draw lines and I make sure to circle specific landmarks and things that are around the property so they can't get lost and I take them all the way up until if you have stairs for example until they get up the stairs i show them what our lock box looks like or lock we actually use smart locks i show them what that lock looks like they put in their code and they get in safely and then on the last slide it always says something along on the lines of hey if you need anything at all let us know we want you to have a five-star experience enjoy your stay this can save so many of your reviews imagine having something like this when you travel as a guest it saves so much time and so much anxiety accidentally walking into the wrong person's property so imagine what this could do for your guests. I promise you, if you implement this the correct way, you will for sure be getting those five stars left and right and you will avoid getting anything less than that. Secret number two, you've already heard on the internet everyone saying you need good photography, you need good pictures. Well, here's the thing, Airbnb actually provides free photography for their hosts. Now there is a catch. You don't have to pay for the photos up front, but as you get your bookings, Airbnb will take a percentage away from your bookings to pay for your photography. Now the photography is pretty average compared to a lot of photographers on the market but all you need to do is contact airbnb and let them know you would like to take advantage of their photography program now here's a little bonus tip if you happen to be in a city that airbnb does not provide the photography what you can do is you can go on fiverr and find an editor who does hdr photos let me just show you what i mean i took this photo on my iphone and this is how it looked when it was edited by one of the editors this only costed one dollar to edit here are some photos of my properties and i took these photos myself and had them edited by someone on Fiverr for $30 for 30 photos. It's a great option if you don't have money to pay three or $400 to a photographer in the beginning. Secret number three, when you are a host, your referrals go up by a lot when you're a super host. When I first started, my referrals were like $150, $200, but now my referrals are up to $720 for every person I refer to Airbnb. No one told me this. This is not anywhere on the internet. You don't get paid that until your referral person or the person you referred hosts their first guest. To date, this is how much I've made on Airbnb. I don't know the number. I probably found the number and put it in this video, but this is how much I've made from just referring hosts over to Airbnb. And it's a great additional source of income. Secret number four, Airbnb just released red receipts. And this is brand new, came out a few days ago. And the reason I'm including it as a secret is because it could save you in case you're not the type to reply back to people immediately. Now this could also save you if you're a host, because if you're having a guest who's having a party or doing something crazy, you know, all the things that we hope not to happen when we're hosts, then if it shows that they're reading the messages and nothing's happening, then you have a little room to reach out to Airbnb and say, hey, I'm trying to reach out to my guests. They're not responding. Protect yourself. Secret number five. When I first started hosting, it would take 40 minutes to an hour to get on the phone with someone to talk about whatever I needed to talk about. And nowadays, I kid you not, I might, sometimes I wait no time at all. I don't even hear the waiting music. I'm automatically connected to someone. Other times I might have to wait three minutes, but what's three minutes versus the 40 I used to wait? So that being said, you should definitely strive to become a super host because there are so many benefits, bonus benefit that they don't tell you about. You also get your own personal support through Airbnb's app. 
Meaning Superhost can go on the app and click a button and then they'll have direct access to people who actually only deal with super hosts. And I haven't seen anyone talk about that on the internet. I think it's pretty cool and I think you should strive to become super host if you can. Secret number six, Airbnb actually has hidden payments and you might be losing out on money that could be yours. There are actually hidden payments that are probably owed to you right now that you didn't know about that are on the back end of Airbnb. To give you a little perspective, this is how our earnings looked at the beginning of 2023 for 2022. Now, do you notice something weird? Yep, right there in August, you can see that there's a little piece that says it's potential earnings that never really came to us. We did some digging and turns out Airbnb actually forgot to send us our payout for the specific booking. And the rep let us know that there was some internal investigation with the person who paid and the payment just took too long to come through and Airbnb just never sent us our payment. So you could be missing out on money right now. Go on your earnings and look at the past months to see if there are any months that don't meet that full like the whole thing isn't completely full and that might mean that you are missing some payments from Airbnb. By the way, that amount was $1,300. That $1,300 could have been rent for one of my units, which is so crazy. Every month, once a month, when you're looking at your pricing or whatever you do once a month for your listings, just make sure that you've gotten all your payouts. Secret number seven, the more reviews you have, the more likely you are to get booked in an oversaturated market. When I was doing my research with my husband, we were trying to figure out why our newer properties weren't doing as well as our super seasoned properties because they looked better and they were priced much better too. But turns out when you are in an oversaturated market, sometimes it's hard because there's so many choices for people to choose from that are new versus the ones that have some history on them. And it's just easier for them to book those ones that have that history. You're asking yourself, how can I make sure I don't choose an oversaturated market or if I do how to make sure I can still get bookings now I recommend checking out this video right here where I talk about oversaturated markets and how to analyze your market no matter what market you're deciding to host in all right I'll see you in that next video bye